So this episode, guys, of Block by Block and Red Power is all about the red alloy wire. Now as you can see here, it's a lot like redstone except more advanced. Its signal will travel 255 blocks before it runs out, and it can also run vertically up things. So you can see here I have it vertically ran up this wall, and it will turn that light on. So if I place a block down, here's a piece of red wire, I can place it on this face, the top, this face, and make it go back down, and then just dig a whole way down here and run it up like that, and then bring it around and run it back up over here if I really felt like it, and so on and so forth. So, just a more advanced version of the redstone wire, like I showed you with the power wires, there is a jacketed form of it, which you get like this, and you get a red alloy wire like this by getting the red alloy ingot inside of the alloy furnace. And so these jacketed wires are, again, uh, once again, standalone blocks, which can just kind of be free float in an air without being attached to another block. Now on top of this you can create jacketed wires out of any of the colors of wool just by taking some wires and placing a specific color around it whereas this was just bare wire. Now these you can tell that even though two different colors are right by each other that they don't touch one another. So if I turn this white one on it's not going to interfere with this orange one and if I turn this orange one on it's not going to interfere with this white one. They're completely separate of each other. And that brings me to these neat things called bundle cables. And bundle cables let you compact colored signals down into one line and then remember it and transmit it out. So basically, if I run this orange wire and white wire into a bundle cable and turn this white one on, at the other end of the bundled cable, only this white lamp turns on. If I turn this orange one on, only that orange one turns on, etc. And this also has a jacketed form, as you can see here. There is also a jacketed bundled cable. Now, on top of bundled cables, there are color bundled cables. So here you can see I have a white and orange one. And these functions exactly like normal bundle cables, except these two just won't interact with each other. So this orange one here is not interacting with this white one, but it still acts the same way. If I turn this orange one on, that orange light turns on. If I turn this white one on, the white light turns on. This white one will go to that white light. This orange one will go to that orange light. So it's just the same, but again, a way to keep them from interfering. Now there's a way to make wires forget their color information. If I send a white wire to a normal red alloy wire to an orange wire, that orange wire will accept it because once you put it to this red alloy wire, it's going to completely forget its color coding and just accept it in the orange one. And you can do the same thing with bundled cable. White bundled cable over to normal bundled cable to orange bundled cable works perfectly fine and remembers all of its information. So the orange light still turns the orange one on and the white light still turns the white one on. One thing to remember about bundled cable, however, and red alloy wire is that just bland red alloy wire will not connect to this bundled cable. You have to use the various coded cables to be able to connect to a bundled cable. So that is all of the basic information for red alloy wires, what they do and how they work. I hope you guys found this useful and I look forward to seeing you the next time I'm in Block by Block. Toodles!